this video covers electrolysis plating then electrolysis plating of a copper what is the bath composition taken for a copper and how electrolysis plating of copper take place and also how we manufacture the printed circuit board that is pcp so the all things are covered in this uh, video electrolysis plating electrolysis plating is nothing but without the use of electric current it is possible to uh, cover a um, base metal with a thin film of metal or alloy using suitable reducing agent like electrolysis plating is the controlled deposition of continuous film of a metal or alloy from a salt solution on to a catalytically active surface by using suitable reducing agent without using electric current here we not use any electric current instead of using electric current the electron needed for the reduction reaction is supplied with the help of a reducing agent the reducing agent can able to give electrons so uh, when we add a reducing agent to a metal ion uh, on the at on the catalytic surface the reduction takes place the metal ion get reduced to metal at the same time an oxidizing oxidized product is formed that means metal ion takes uh, in the presence of or interact with the reducing agent so that reducing agent gives electron and that electron is taken by metal ion on the catalytically active surface the deposition of this metal take place that means the driving force in electrolysis plating is an auto catalytic redox reaction over a pretreated catalytic surface instead of electric current as in case of electro plating in the case of electrolysis plating we observe anode and cathode on the same metal we are not using any anode or cathode components on the same metal itself act as a anode and cathode anode reaction that take place the liberation of electron by the help of a reducing agent and the cathode reaction is metal ion takes electrons which is liberated at anode and get deposited as a metal the main in the all electrolysis plating the main composition is uh, uh, in the plating bath uh, observed is a metal salt that metal salt provides a metal ion for the deposition then we have to take a reducing agent for reduction of metal ion to metal at the then complexing agent to complex metal ion to prevent bulk deposition stabilize the solution we may introduce a stabilizer to increase the rate of plating we may introduce accelerator and we have to introduce a buffer solution to control the ph in electrolysis plating of copper before carrying electrolysis plating the first the surface to be plated is first degreased by using suitable organic solvent so that we can able to remove almost all the grease oil particles then followed by acid treatment to remove some irregularities and again depending upon the base metal we have to activate the surface if insulator materials are used such as a plastic or uh, particularly in the printed circuit board we observe plastics then it should be activated first by dipping in stannous chloride hcl solution then in palladium chloride hcl solution then it is dried so that the palladium chloride adhered on the plastic surface then the electrolysis plating is done under the following condition the main composition of the bath is a coating solution or electrolyte solution or what we call it as a uh, so solution taken in the electrolysis plating bath that is copper sulfate so the copper sulfate is taken the copper sulfate uh, copper sulfate is taken that is around 15 g per liter of the copper sulfate is taken so it can facilitate the cu2 plus ion or uh, that is plated on the surface of the metal so this coating solution or in other words the metal is supplied metal ion is supplied by using copper sulfate uh, that uh, cuso4 5h2o component is taken 
then reducing agent used for this plating bath is a formaldehyde the formaldehyde act as a reducing agent then in this uh, plating bath buffer solution used is a sodium hydroxide and russian salt sodium hydroxide taken is around 15 g per liter and russian salt is taken around 14 g per liter so that we can able to maintain a ph of about 11 the basic ph is maintained then complexing agent used is edta edta solution that is a 20 g per liter edta solution is taken uh, in the electroplating bath along with this we observe a uh, 0.1 g per liter thiourea along with this we may introduce a uh, thiourea around uh, 0.1 g per liter why we introduce this thiourea it act as a stabilizer it act as a stabilizer these are the bath composition we introduced while carrying uh, electrolysis plating of copper coating solution copper sulfate reducing agent formaldehyde buffer sodium hydroxide mixture of sodium hydroxide russian salt accelerator is a edta or a complexing agent is a edta uh, thiourea act as a stabilizer the optimum ph is 11 and the optimum ph is sorry optimum temperature is 25 degree celsius to control the metal content in the solution the ph maintaining is very important then what is the reaction that taking place during the process the possible reaction uh, observed during the uh, process at anode at anode the reducing agent help for the uh, oxidation reaction at anode the reducing agent used is a formaldehyde in the presence of sodium or hydroxyl so it under or it oxidizes to form acid hco minus along with the liberation of uh, uh, electron is observed so around 2 moles of electrons are liberated uh, here h2 also observed liberation of h2 okay say so the possible reaction is the formaldehyde in the presence of base it oxidizes to formic acid or h CO minus water plus hydrogen evolution plus two moles of electron. Then, as soon as electron is liberated at cathode, the metal ion gets deposited. The metal ion is introduced in the form of copper sulfate. Takes this two electron and get deposited as a metallic copper. The possible the net reaction is the formaldehyde and CHO. in the hydroxyl medium in the basic medium deposits help for the deposition of a copper metal cupric gets a reduced and get deposited as a metallic copper along with that the formaldehyde get oxidized so hco minus plus 2 h2o plus h2 this is a possible reaction observed during electrolysis plating of uh, copper okay the possible reaction during electrolysis plating of copper and this is carried out at 25 degree celsius the main application of this electrolysis plating of copper is a metallizing a certain area of the component that is metallizing printed circuit board the main procedure adopted to metallizing the printed circuit board is a Uh, by a substrate method substract sorry substractive method this process the metallizing process is known as a, a substractive method by substractive method we can metallize the component substractive method this method what we called it as a substractive method the process known as a substractive method and we can able to develop a layer of 5 to around the around 5 to 100 micrometer thickness copper is elect is introduced okay first a thin layer of copper is first electroplated 
over PCB. That is, we are taken a plastic and insulating here. What we shown here is an insulating material. This is an insulating material. Okay, an insulating material is taken. Okay, this insulating material is a plated. The base metal is a plated. The usually used base metal is a, a glass reinforced plastics, epoxy resin, phenolic polymers, etc. Okay, this is first the a thin layer of copper is first electroplated over the uh, plastics. Okay, that is a uh, plastic materials like glass reinforced plastic, epoxy resins, so phenolic polymers are used. Then the selected area are protected. The some area. Then next thing is exchange of copper to uh, etching of copper to produce a circuit pattern is observed. The before etching etching process, the selected area are protected by employing electroplated image or photoresist. I want to take out the some uh, copper material from this area. So before carrying the etching process, I protect the other part of the uh, metal by using electroplated image or photoresistor. The remainder of the plated copper is etched away so that to get a, a required circuit pattern. So here in this area, I'll remove the copper uh, uh, component so that I can produce a etching or the pattern. Then I have to connect these two uh, layer that is upper and the lower part of the uh, material. Both these are the copper foil, whereas this is the plastics. In between, there is no connection. The electrical passage is not possible. So that's why I just made a hole. Usually, the double-sided tracks are made in order to pack a more number of uh, components. So then, a, uh, a hole uh, are created so that uh, the connection between the two sides of the PC board are made by drilling the hole followed by activation and plating through the hole is done. There is usually these double sided tracks are made in order to pack more number of components in a small space. Finally, the connection between the two sides of the PCB is made by drilling holes. Here, I just made a hole but it is, a, it is not an active surface. This is not an active surface. Here, I just made a hole. Then, it should be, a, this is an insulating one, then I will subject this area to electroless plating. Then activation is done, activation of the surface, then electroless plating is carried out. The entire surface area becomes an active one. The holes are activated by followed by electroless plating of copper through the holes. As a result, so complete the area is subjected to electroless plating. So, here, the usually double-sided tracks are made in order to pack more number of components in a small space. So, we can summarize like this. The will take a layer, first a layer of copper is electroplated on the base metal, which is plastic materials like glass, reinforced plastic, epoxy resin, phenolic polymers, etc. Then, selected area are protected by employing electroplated image or photoresist. Then rest of the copper is etched away to produce circuit pattern or track by using stable kitchen. Then the connection between the two holes, two sides of the PC board uh, are made by drilling the holes. Then followed by activation and plating through the holes by electroless plating. Usually, these double-sided plates are made to hold more number of components. The main application of this PCB is to uh, hold a uh, uh, metallizing, uh, metallizing the printed circuit board. So it is to be used to metallizing printed circuit boards for producing through the pole connections, uh, plating of non-conductor, or it can carry undercoat for electroplating, decorative plating for plastics, etc. So this electroless plating is carried.